Hey everybody, Akers here. Welcome back to Insurmountable. This will be part five. So let's get started here. Last episode, we rescued the scientist. This episode, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? The temporal anomalies. That sounds like a fun one. Or we can rescue a journalist. I kind of want to do the, the anomalies. So let's see here. The anomalies are spread out over a wide area, then reach the goal. So it says, uh, expansive mountain, only a small section of the mountain is located in the death zone. But the terrain is extremely challenging. Let's do this one. And hopefully this will answer some of the questions that we have. About this time loop that we uh, are stuck in. Alright. Well, I tested out live streaming a little bit with the... Um, Starlink and it didn't work out so well so while we wait for either Starlink to get more satellites up in the air or get fiber which is being laid in the uh, area near me right now about a quarter mile from my house figured I'd just uh, start messing around with this, the face cam got a key light going here trying to get used to it hence the, the hat it's a little little bright brighter than I'm used to that's for sure so let's uh let's get going here so they said challenging terrain which makes me think that uh we definitely want to have the uh, climate x and the o2 and all that that uh looks pretty good so let's uh well, i guess we could open the inventory and see what else we got we probably don't need the o2 i don't think we've used it yet and we've been in the death zone even more than that so we got 35 points now hmm extremely challenging terrain So this, this climbing rope reduces energy cost of climbing for a limited time. Duration three hours. That's not much. I'm thinking we take something that keeps us warm. Climbing gloves probably. Negative 10 on energy cost. Yeah, kind of like that. Insulated boots. Heavy boots. We're not going to have enough for both. We definitely want the flashlight. So let's take the climbing gloves. Throw that on there. And then the crampons would be really good. But we don't have enough. It's 10. I could probably sacrifice the flashlight. Is there anything else that's 10 that we could take along as well? A rope. Ignores dangerous time or dangerous terrain for a limited time for six hours. But then it's uh it disappears. We use it up. So I guess the, the ones that are kind of like uh, in this red background, they're ones that are uh, persistent. These can be used up. I'm kind of think, oh man. I'm kind of thinking we should take a tent, but I think we're going to be okay. So I really want the crampons. But this gives off a light radius too. All right, let's stick with what we got. Can we, can we take anything for 10 that isn't? Let's take some... Um, Let's take some food for more energy. I think an energy might be the issue here. So, all right, let's see how this works. Let's go. Maybe this is a really bad decision. I don't know. Time will tell. Also, might move the face cam around depending on what it's actually blocking. So it's blocking the. <laughs> let's move this over a little bit here. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. You gaze at the endless mountain vista. Somewhere out there uh, are strange apparitions, smaller anomalies that are connected in some way to the time loop. You have to seek them out and find out more about them. Then you have to learn to use them to your advantage. They may be able to help you get better, stronger, maybe faster. All right. Tracking device. Some missions require you to use your tracking device to find your... I was wondering what this was down here. The bottom right. Tracking device to find your next goal. You can activate and deactivate it on your skill bar located at the lower right of the screen. You can then move your camera to find your goal. The closer you, you your goal is to the center of the screen, the stronger the signal will be. Remember to look up or down to get a more, more precise location. So it seems like we have to get kind of dialed in on it. Okay, so can I use it now? 
No signal from this direction. Oh, so we just have to start. Okay. So nothing from this direction at all. And then once we come over here. So we need to head that way, basically. That's what it's saying. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Well, I think we head over here to this human interaction first. And since we're not going into the death zone, I think we can kind of just hit these events as we as we move towards these different um, anomalies. All right. Injured Mountaineer. A tent has hastily erected against the side of the rock wall catches your attention. As you get closer, you discover a sleeping Mountaineer. His clothes are torn in places, and you can tell by his face that he's in bad shape. Can't say how long he is left to live or whether he'll make it. Um, we're going to try to help him. It costs us some energy, but... Uh, I think it's the right thing to do. You roll the stranger into recovery position and speak to him in a soothing voice. Despite your best efforts, he makes no sound and does not move. You cannot help him. Well, we tried. So, that was a bust. Alright, let's head up here. Let me see here. Let me, let me hit the uh, tracker again. Alright, yeah. So yeah, we definitely want to head up this way. See if we can find a cave. In the meantime, I don't really see any caves yet, but I'm sure they're up here somewhere. All right, glacial cave. Not the type of cave I was looking for, but hey, we'll take it. You're standing at the entrance of a glacial cave. The light that finds its way through the thick ice makes walls glow a deep, invigorating blue. All right, so we got a little bit of our sanity back. And we lost a little bit trying to help that guy, but so let's see here. We definitely want, um, not really worried about the breathing at this point. Let's take it slow. Whenever you wake up, gain four energy, four body temperature and gain four oxygen. And then level two will bump that up to seven. So let's, let's take that one. Next, uh, find and reach anomaly one. So I think maybe. It's just showing us one anomaly at a time, so we have to go to this one first, and then it'll start tracking the other one. So I, it's not like I can pick which one of the three I want to go to right now. So let's, um, yeah, let's continue on here. We'll head up here. Let's do that. Not really costing as much uh, energy on this one. And it might reveal a cave nearby. Crystalline Frost. A smooth, sparkling stone catches your eye. Its surface is covered in a delicate, complex pattern, in delicate, complex patterns of ice crystals that remind you of saplings, ferns, and blossoms. A beautiful sight. Uh, I think this is where we touch them and they sort of disappear. L let's give it a shot. You stare at the patterns of frost transfixed. It's almost as if they're moving and growing before your very eyes. The thought that, it, that true beauty such as this can exist even in the most hostile, inhospitable climates leaves you feeling reassured and content. That's a good thing. More sanity, which we don't need, but we'll take it. Probably gives us more experience points versus not doing it. I guess if you don't do it, you're probably not getting any, any uh, experience points. So let's do our tracking device again. It's very slow there. Very fast over here. Okay. This is pretty cool. I like this. So can I go this way? Yes. If I go this way, I'm afraid I'm going to end up having to go around something huge here that goes down the back side. So I think what I'll do is I will... If I go that way. Let's go that way. See what we can find there. And tomorrow is supposed to be clear or cold. Yeah, cold tomorrow. Turn that off for now. Disturbed snow. The snow underneath your feet is churned up as if recently moved around. Could someone have been digging here? Uh, I dig deeper. Let's, um, it's going to eat up some energy. Let's just dig around just beneath the surface. Move the snow to the left and right with your foot. You just cover a wooden crate containing provisions. Uh, so we got one of these little moon herbs for our sanity, which <laughs> we again don't need. Uh, warm thoughts. Here we go. 
Whenever you use a consumable item, gain four body temperature. Good. Do you want to choose skill? Do you want to choose one? Yeah. There we go. Is that telling me that anomaly is actually right there? I think that's what it's saying. I think it's actually right there. There's something sparkling there. Let's head over that way. I guess I don't have to go down on the backside of the uh, mountain. I thought it was going to be a little more grandiose, like a glowing green pillar into the sky or something like that. Sort of like the summit, but apparently not. Just some sparkles. Some fireflies, some pixies, something like that. Let's see. You reach a wide open plain, but suddenly light shooting out of the gr uh But suddenly lightning shoots out of the ground. Some kind of see-through ice cloud rises up and moves slowly towards you. You have found an the anomaly. Or did it find you? Stay still and see what happens. Throw something in the anomaly. Leave. <laughs> Just be like, whatever. Um, let's stay still and see what happens. You close your eyes and the cloud surrounds you. Thoughts race through your head. Memories. But they're not your memories. Feel a strange sense of connection to the mountain. To all the people and all the creatures that live here. You have become part of them, and they have become part of you. You are no longer alone. The thought gives you strength. Good. Is that Does that mean energy, then? Yes, it does. All right. That's, that's exactly kind of what we needed. Exactly kind of. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go that way, then. Uh, All right, well, let's head up here for this human interaction first. I thought I'd left the tracker running. That's why I was like, oh, let me turn that thing off. But it wasn't that at all. Yeah, let's head up here. Um, Again, I, I don't think I've seen a cave yet. Maybe on the backside. All right, up we go. Heart of the Explorer. In a rocky hollow, well protected from the wind and weather, you discover a tent, what well, remains of one. There are slashes in the tarp as if someone had cut the tent with a sharp blade. Scattered outside the tent are items of clothing and provisions, but no sign of the owner. Why did they leave in such a hurry? Thoroughly investigate. Search for the or search through the provisions. Um, we got room in our backpack. Let's go ahead and ser uh, search thoroughly, and that'll get us closer to morning as well. It's gonna be cold tomorrow though, but that's okay. Let's do a thorough search. If you're reading the signs correctly, the owner must have been some kind of explorer and had been gone for some time. And you don't think they're coming back. You find provisions that you can use. Uh, got ourselves a little bit of tea. Wonderful. And a level up. Let's see what we can unlock here. Under the stars. That might not be too bad. Reduce penalty for sleeping without a tent, which we don't have right now. Limited, limited. I like the persistent ones. Let's do that one. Nice, plus 3.5 body temperature per hour when resting or in events. And apparently reduce penalty for sleeping without a tent. I think it might be like a triple bonus. Do I see it? Man. Are there really not any... Uh... Oh, there's a cave over here. Oh my gosh. It's tough to get to, though. It's not easy. There might be one down here that I'm just not able to see. Oh, there's one right there. Perfect. Okay, let's see if we can spot the anomaly as well. I get the feeling it's right on the other side of this hill. All right, let me go down here and grab this. Death zone. The air is getting thin and your breath heavy. You have entered the death zone. You pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult path towards the summit. We're not really going to the summit, but... Let's see here. Decrease oxygen loss. Decrease energy loss. Is that is that only in the death zone? Or is that... We have a... Um, I think I'm going to take this because if it affects me all the time, that's going to be a really... It's going to be a good bonus, the energy. Let's do this one. Decreased energy cost for a short time. Ah. Let's use this one. I don't think it's really going to matter. Because we're going to come right down out of it again. I kind of wish it said decreased energy cost for a long time. Yeah, 
I see any sparkles yet? Not yet. You discover a tree. You do not know how it could have survived at this altitude, but the sight comforts you. All right, little sanity back. We, we actually did get some sanity on that one. So let me do a little check here. Zoom in. Okay, so it's somewhere over there. Not there. Yeah, somewhere over there. All right. Well, I think we go down here for the night. Get some rest. Maybe we don't have to rest that long, actually, depending on how much we get from a short rest. Gigantic footprints. You see footprints in the snow in front of you. They've been almost swept away by the wind, but they're clearly human and very large. Like those of a giant, and it would appear that this giant is wandering around barefoot. Wonderful. Do you follow the tracks into a crevice where they end? At the bottom of the crevice, you can make out a scrap of cloth. Did someone fall down here? You could jump across and pick up the trail on the other side. Well, we're about to uh, go warm up here in a cave, I think. So this will take a little bit of oxygen, not much. I thought we're, we're below the death zone. Oh, we're gaining oxygen. Sorry, sorry. Let's climb down there. Take a look around. Crevice isn't very deep. You climb down effortlessly. It was not a giant that you find, but a woman's corpse. Move closer and look into the two dark, empty so eye sockets. What happened to her eyeballs? Could animals have eaten them? Yes, birds. Especially. You search her tor a torn uh, anorak and find an identity card from Research Institute for Zoology and some equipment. We got some boots, which we didn't have. Heavy boots. Energy cost on st stone is reduced. Take it. Wonderful. That was that was a good find. All right, we should be able to warm up here a little bit. Cave, it's dry, it's sheltered from the wind. Further back, you see a small tunnel leading into darkness. Yeah, we're going to explore that. That's why we brought our flashlight. Can't see our hands in front of our uh, face. Use the flashlight. It illuminates the passageway. Go deeper into the cave system. Enter a chamber and find a box containing some provisions. Oh, a tent! Nice. A tent and some food. So far, very good. Very good. All right, let's lie down and sleep. Let's see if we want to go for a short sleep or a long sleep. Tomorrow is going to be cold or stormy tomorrow. So we're going to have reduced visibility, but that's okay. I think we're going to be all right. Body temperature is going to still drop either way. Oxygen is going to be completely replenished either way. But we're going to get a little bit more energy. I say we go ahead and sleep long and get maximum energy. Let's do that. I think we're going to be able to go over to this uh, shrine and get ourselves warmed up. I hope. Because there's a shrine right there. So that's what I'm looking to, to do right now. Right, let me back out here a little bit if I can. I think she's up against the mountains. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, so the shrine looks like it's on the... Is that the shrine? How do we get there? Right through this area anyway. Perfect. Wait a minute. There we go. Let's go that way. We're going to level up here real quick. Let me... Let me interrupt. Take it slow. Stay warm. That might be good. Warm thoughts. Two. Mm -mm. Those are all good. Those are all good. Let's do the take it. Stay warm. Let's do this. Ugh. Stay warm. All right. Especially since we have the storm coming tomorrow. Let's do that. Rocky slope. The terrain slopes down in front of you it is completely covered with boulders and fragments of rock. Find another way around. It's going to cost us some temp, but we do have some tea if we do get desperate. This will be the safe safe play right here. And it'll preserve some energy. Let's do that. 
You test the rocks, but there are some major red flags here. One false move and you could start an avalanche. It would be better to find a detour. All right, let's continue here. Half buried in the snow, you find a weathered stone plaque. Seems to be old. Very old, in fact. Stay and dig it up. Hmm. We could drink some tea after that. Or continue. Let's stay and dig it up. As you're digging with the, in the earth with your bare hands, you get, your gaze falls on the character etched in the stone, presumably some kind of writing system you regret that you are unable to read the characters. It must have been some civilization here long ago. What could have led to their downfall? Finally, you're able to free the plaque and lift it up. In the hollow beneath, you find valuable equipment. Oh, okay. So we got some snowshoes, but we can only use these at this one at a time. So snow versus uh, rock at this point. I don't know if that was worth it. I don't think that was worth it. Let's go ahead and have uh, some of our tea. There we go. Oh, we got two shrines. One there. One there. Let's see here. I guess we go to this one first. Not going to cost us too much uh, energy. So let's go to this one. Then we'll hit this one and we'll continue on towards the anomaly. Because I think if we go up to this one, we're going to have to backtrack and then come right back up again that way. So it seems like, no, well, maybe not. We could have went this way, I guess. But you Sit down on a rock and relax. Pleasant warmth. That sounds good. Uh, fills your body. Okay, yeah. So yada, yada, yada. We're going to take the warmth. There we go. Let's head up here. Hopefully some more warmth or energy. At this point. With the uh, tent being available, I'll probably take the warmth. Rubble. So we got rubble, uh, mini landslides, stones rolling out from under our feet. What do we do? Keep going or different path? Let's not get hurt. You decide to detour is your best option. You give the rubble a wide berth. A shrine. Woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly toothless smile. Motion. Oh, of course we're taking warmth. We'll take some more warmth. All right, we're we're looking pretty good here, actually. So let's continue on. After this one, I'm going to do another uh, anomaly track. So, as your gaze wanders up the tower and vertical rock face, your eye is caught by a cast iron rings, old pitons. Tilt your head all the way back. You can make out that the pitons lead to a small plateau. Why would anyone have gone to the effort, to the effort of uh, trying to reach it? Climb the wall. We don't have the energy for this. We do have food, though. And we have a tent. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice. So spending some time doing this might not be the worst option, especially if we kill the rest of the day in a tent. Let's go ahead and climb the wall. The hooks creak alarmingly as you use them to pull yourself upward. You hesitate. A fall from this height could kill you. Slowly, you creep up inch by inch until you finally reach the plateau and shelter in a rocky niche. This place has provided refuge to mountaineers before you. They left something behind. Ah, little uh, flask. Nice. Probably worth it. Probably, anyway. All right, where do we go? There's a cave up there. Can we make it to that? Uh, no. Jeez. Which way? Oh my gosh. We're not going that way. You have to go all the way around and then come back down again. That's horrible. Okay. So to get over to that side, I'm going to have to actually... I'm going to have to actually go that way. Okay. So we'll go as far as we can. Is there anything we can get on the way? I don't see anything. Oh, we have a cave over here. Ugh. That's... Oh, we're past the cave to get to the cave. I think we head up to that cave, because there might be something inside as well. And I think this little bit of red is worth it for... Yeah, let's risk it. 
What I don't like is there's a double hazard right here that I saw. I don't know how that works. I don't know if I've ever had to deal with that before, but... Not thrilled about this. It's weird that they have two caves, like, right next to each other. Oh, fingers crossed here. I have a feeling. They, they love to get you hurt. And we should power through it and maybe take a little bit of health hit. All right. You stop watching your step for a brief moment and slide down a steep slope. With your last strength, you manage to pull yourself up. You are injured but full of adrenaline. So we get a little bit of uh, bonus there. It's going to cost us a little health. All right, let's head on up. And then we should be able to sleep till morning when the uh, weather changes. So I think we're going to be okay here. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. As you're at the rear of the cage, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Hunter fireflies. Yeah, this is just a little sanity boost. Nothing much there. Let's lie down and sleep. I was hoping for more than that, honestly. A little bit of oxygen hit here, but uh, everything else. Body temperature is going to go up. Energy is going to go up nicely and it'll be morning so weather should change so just about perfect apart from taking a little bit of a little bit of a health hit there all right clear daybreak now let's uh, go ahead and do another test here i get the feeling it's going to be on the other side of this because i can't see it from here How do I get to the other side? Well, it looks like I can actually make it all the way over to there. And still have quite a bit of energy left over. Well, before we do that, let's head down here and see what this is. Maybe we'll get something valuable here. Nearby an abandoned camp, there are some vacuum flasks filled with tea. Could take the time to search the tents. Um... Oh, it's just going to cost a little bit of uh, oxygen and time. Let's just do a quick search because uh, we'll probably end up with tea with us. It's kind of what I want anyway. If I had my choice, a uh, flask of tea would probably be my choice. I mean, other than like maybe a, maybe a helicopter. Fast movement, active till the end of mission. Ooh. Some breathing. Yep. As usual. Going with the persistent one. All right. The question is, do I want to go that way or that way? I don't know. I don't know. Or that way. I don't want to go that way. I think I kind of want to... I just want to see what's on the other side of this place. I think I can get there from here. Well, let's start walking this way. And we'll see where we're at when we reach that area right there. There might be something back here that I can't see quite yet. All right, as you pick your way across some boulders to the, on the edge of a precipice, you notice an indigenous man below you waving his arms frantically. He is trying to tell you to hurry. Many of the rocks are loose and in danger of plummeting into the depths. Uh, move carefully. You slowly climb from rock to rock. You're nearly there when a foot catches on something. The boulder hurdles down to frozen ground below. You hear a short, sharp scream. I think I've killed this guy before. You cast about for the stranger. He's lying motionless on the ground, but blood pulling around his head, your whole body shaking. So yeah, we, we almost died, but he did. <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished, apparently. And not much on this side. It's pretty barren when it comes to events. I mean, there's like one up there, but definitely not worth going all the way up there for. Entered it. Oh, we left the death zone. Now we're in it again. Can't make up our mind. Oh, you know what? Maybe the anomalies. There's a little bit of a area back here that I don't know about. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. It's right there. Couldn't see. It wasn't blinking before. Stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Okay. We needed to go this way anyway. It might have been faster to come down this way, but uh, we're okay. 
So that's the second anomaly. Then I think we might just hole up here and relax. Since there's really nothing around and I don't want to like sprain an ankle or anything like that. Let's speed things up there. She's moving so slow. All right, second anomaly. Almost imperceptibly, a transparent dome-like structure made from glimmering ice rises in front of you. As you get closer and try to touch it, you realize that your gaze isn't the only thing that can pass through it. Your body can too. You are certain this is, this is the anomaly you have been looking for. You step into the anomaly and can hardly believe your eyes. In front of you sits a goat with a long snow white beard. It slowly raises its head and seems to indicate that you should sit beside it. Okay. Okay, sage goat. I will sit next to you. This is no ordinary goat. Of course not. It's Yoda. He's like the Yoda of goats. You can feel it in your bones. The aura of wonder surrounds it. You already feel better. Mentally stronger goats are really, really are wonderful animals. So sit next to the goat or get some sanity back. Our sanity is actually a little bit low now. Uh, the, this one's instant though doesn't cost us any time and it's a good day uh, tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day too but uh, still let's go and take the sanity I know we got that little bit of tea I think it costs a little bit of health though to use so try not to use that if we can avoid it back that way off we go. Well, maybe not quite yet. Let's uh let's see here. Why'd she throw her hands up like that? Alright, I'm <laughs> that's kinda weird. So I want to go this way. See where I need to go. Okay, so I can only really go down to here safely. Let's do this. And then we'll stay here. For the remainder of the night, and it's nightfall, which is perfect. You want to use the tent? Yes, I do. Sleep for a long amount of time. Nice. Everything's getting charged up nicely. I like it. Wonderful. How should I eat food? It's 30 energy. I think, I think we're overdoing the energy if I eat now. Well, no. We can do that. Let's go and eat the food. There we go. We're not quite fully, yeah, full of energy, so we got maximum benefit from that food. Okay, again, let me... She did it again. It's like whenever I do the tracking, she just throws her hands up in, like, complete frustration. So let's head on over here. Oh, there's a... Hold on. Let's go to this one first. Go down, climb back up. Trade. Oh, that's right. That's what the handshake means. All right. So let's see here. Do we want to trade for some fur gloves? Try to remember what. We have climbing gloves, don't we? Yeah. I'm not really wanting to do that. An oxygen mask? Nah. Some bandages? Nah, we're okay. Honestly, I might... It's going to cost us a tent. I don't think we really even need the oxygen mask. I mean, we're, we're full up here. And I don't want to trade then. Yeah, I'd rather keep the tent. Yeah, it's on the other side. I think we were almost like right there. It just didn't present itself. Okay, let's uh, see where this one is. I do want to go over to this one.
There's a cave up here, and then there's a another uh, chest over here. As you climb along a crevi uh, crevice in a glacier, you see an oxygen bottle together with an oxygen mask buried under a thick layer of ice. This bottle seems to be intact. Dig towards the oxygen bottle. It's going to eat a lot of energy. I use a stone to break an ice to break the ice. Eh, we'll try that. All right, shards fly as you smash sharp stone against the ice over and over. Finally, you have removed enough ice to grab the oxygen bottle and pull it towards yourself. All right, so we got some oxygen. If we desperately need it, we got it. Okay. Okay. I think if I put it up here, they might start using it. I really don't want to do that yet. How's our energy doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm just a little bit, maybe. So it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. We still have the uh, two tents left because I didn't trade. So I think we just push on. I'm not worried about stopping here. I'd rather keep going while we can. March along the mountain ridge and its steep slopes uh, lined with gnarled trees defy the elements. You spot an oxygen bottle on an air. <laughs> Another oxygen bottle. Give it a try. It's going to cost energy. No, let's keep going. We got one oxygen bottle. We're good. We're not even... That's the one... That and warmth now is, is just absolutely fine. So... All right, let's... Can I get up to the other side? Let's do that. Make sure I'm not passing the anomaly. Because they're not very... Noticeable. Must have entered... Yeah, we entered the death zone. Hence all the panting. Alright, where are you at, silly anomaly? Alright, just about out of energy here. Buried. Fresh snow is piled high, uh, high ahead of you on a mountainside. There must have been an avalanche here recently. As you trudge through the heaps of snow, your gaze falls on a vacuum flask of tea. It's half buried in the snow. Just take the tea, man. I don't have enough energy to dig, apparently. All right, bunches of tea. All right, let's do another uh, anomaly check here. I know, I know. Jeez. What the? Oh, it's down here, huh? It's almost like where the first one was, isn't it? Can I get over that way? Well, let's start heading that way. Keep our eyes open. I'm surprised she has that much energy. Honestly. Oh, there it is. It's right there. That that feels like it's the exact same spot as the first one, I think. Unless I'm tripping out completely. Alright, well, let's just... um. Can we go that far? No. We can't go anywhere. Let's just hang here for the night. Use a tent? Yeah. Let's do it. It's going to cost a little oxygen because I'm not 48 meters lower, but no concern. All right. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting our oxygen back again. I think we... It says you have to exit. I think we just have to go back to where we came from. Or once we came up there. Somewhere down there. All right, anomaly, third anomaly. Your heart starts racing as you notice something strange up ahead. The air in the distance appears to shimmer as if the freezing air was actually hot and humid. You move closer and walk to, uh, through a veil of uh, veil covered in glowing veins. Behind is a, ro a room, but not really a room, more like an open, transparent, dome-like structure. 
Okay. The noises cease and snowflakes dance around you, but sluggishly, as, as if in motion. Your limbs relax as you watch the spectacle. Your thoughts quiet and you become one with the mountain. The anomaly is truly a magical place, feeling better, and suddenly, in a good mood, you decide it's time to continue your journey. Oh, we get some energy? A little bit. Oh, we gotta go that way now. Okay. Well, thanks for the clue. So we do have to go over there somewhere. Reach the goal. It doesn't really sh Oh, there. It's over that way? Alright. Well, there's a cave here that we didn't use, so that's good. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to reach it, though. Not quite. Not even close. Uh, let's get started, though. And it's about to get cold. And we entered the death zone again. But we're about to exit again. All right, is that as far as we can go? Then we can go a bit further. Yeah, let's get out of this this uh, death zone here. I think I think we just basically kind of go that way, which we have to go this way too. Okay. Let's, well, let's go as far as we can. Buried alive, your path leads you past a sheer wall with a snowing tower or snow towering high atop it. You are progressing carefully when you hear rumbling. Instinctively, you assume a crouching position and take a deep breath. Within the blink of an eye, you feel the weight of the snow pinning you to the ground. Your only chance is to dig your way out. Dig fast, dig slowly. Well, let's dig slowly and preserve our, our energy. You know, in situations like these, you have to stay calm and use your energy wisely. You wait a moment to make sure that the snow has actually come to a stop. Then you dig carefully upwards, inch by inch, by inch until your fist breaks through the snow cover. Cold air rushes into your lungs. Made it. So there was like this thing, like if you buried an avalanche and you're not sure which way's up and stuff like that, you're confused. And you really kind of don't have a lot of room to work. Kind of like make a little pit in front of your mouth and then spit. See which way the spit goes. And then you know which way's up. You can just go the opposite way. I don't know exactly what type of very rare, perfect condition that would work in. But it's kind of smart. It's like theoretically smart, right? Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. I want you to go here. Might be something worthwhile here. Didn't see that spinning around down there. Limestone cave. You enter an expansion, expansive cave. Counting the stalactites hanging from the ceiling. Or countless stalactites hanging from the ceiling. Some of which are longer than your arm. Water drips. Water let drop. What the hell am I saying? Droplets trickle gently from the tips of the stalactites onto the rocks and into the pools below. The soothing, tickling sound they make uh, as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed, which you kind of need. It's going to be a sanity boost. The rock formations must be many thousands of years old, dating back before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You, too, are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something people will talk about for years to come. There you go. All that to say, have 18 plus... Sanity. And the level up. Let's see, you're under the stars. Active until the end of the mission, the blow. Oh, yeah, I'm, we're, we don't have a problem with oxygen. So, reduce penalty for sleeping without a tent, plus 4.5 body temperature when resting or in event, events. Um, Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. I'd rather have something that helps my energy, like, permanently, but, geez, it just became first person. <laughs> okay. All right, young lady, stop. Stop messing with me. Let's try to figure out how, where I want to go now. Okay, let's head out this way. Try to get a look at the area we need to go to here. You can see the forest for the trees. Yeah, so I want to get up to about here. 
And then I think we need to stay here for the time being. Yeah, we'll use up the last of our tent. That's okay. It's going to be uh, nice tomorrow. Nice and clear. Take it. Oh, there's a cave right there. Okay. Can I go stay there? Wait a minute. That might be counterproductive. Yeah, we're not climbing all the way up there just to come back down. So, let's see here. I think I kind of want to head up this way. Let's go that way. It's hard to, hard to tell exactly. Yeah, I'm clipping into these rocks behind me, unfortunately. My camera. Yeah, if we have to stay out overnight, not a big deal. Um, I think we're getting pretty close. Oh, we can we can almost make it. Yeah, let's just push through. Because this is going to be a couple reds. Then we're there. Even if we take a little bit of a health hit, no big deal. We'll be back at base camp and fully recovered and all that. So let's just, yeah, let's just get out of here. Ice fall. Glacier extends as far as your eye can see, gripping the sides of the mountain. And you're standing right in the middle of it. You know that uh, ice is constantly moving and can split at any moment, swallowing you up like a uh, into a uh, crevice. There's only one way to go. Forwards, but how? Hurry or ex exercise caution. Adrenaline is pumping through your veins. Uh, go carefully. Yeah. Cost us um, some heat, but we can drink. I wonder if I can drink before. Let's do that. There we go. Go carefully. It's a long way to the edge of the ice fall, but you don't let yourself get flustered. With every step you take, you check the ground beneath you and assess whether you should move forward. The tremors increase the longer you stay on the ice fall, but you progress step by step until you finally fall into the snow. Exhausted. You made it. Onward. Like how they put like a shrine in a cave here as if you're going to like in another shrine as if you're going to like detour instead of go this way. Keep going. No one told you to stop. She's probably going to get injured like right here. Take half of my health away. Oh, or not. We made it. Objective. You pause briefly to look around. You're considering taking a break as a... Sh Shrill siren starts ringing in your ears. That's weird. She has a tinnitus now, suddenly. Pretty good. We'll take it. I have to wonder if the, like these character proficiency levels and things like that like mean that you move with more efficiency, safer, that sort of thing. Maybe. I need to figure out these upgrade points. So capacity plus 10. Unlocked items. Oxygen mask, protective helmet, and a warm cap. Taking that. Yeah, I'll be taking that cap right there, the warm cap. Environment knowledge plus 20. So maybe that means it unlocks additional uh, events. I don't know. All right, we made it back. Stranger, finally you're back. I've been waiting for you. You've learned a lot out there. I think the time has come to take the next step. That's all I've been doing is taking steps. The stone reacts to electromagnetic magnetic radiation. During the experiments that were conducted here, it must have overheated and imploded. That must have caused the anomalies and triggered the time loop. Essentially, all we have to do is repeat the experiment. Obviously, there's a catch. All the technical devices we need are dead now. Totally unusable, but there's another way. Did you notice the antenna on the next peak? 
not only is it is the radiation stronger over there the antenna also intensifies it if we subject the stone to enough radiation it might overheat again and reverse the time loop i mean uh, i admit it's just a theory but right now it's our only hope you hesitate what happens if you refuse after all scaling a mountain isn't exactly a walk in the park on the other hand you really want to find out more about the mysterious antenna like structure why was it built what is its purpose the stranger smiles at you as though she read your mind feel free to rest or keep preparing i know this task seems daunting but you can do it i'm sure of it all right guys there we go another successful mission and we're ready to take on mountain number two thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe see you in the next one y'all take care